My name is Elisa Johnson, and my husband is Mark, and we have three boys. Lucas is eight, and Drew is six, and Garrett is three. I was down here from Missouri State and trying to figure out which church felt right. Well, when we came into Hope with some of my friends, it just felt like home. And um, I ended up being where I met Mark for the first time. I remember standing in the sanctuary. I had seen him before on campus, but this was the first time we'd actually connected and met. After coming to Hope for about six months, I felt there was a part of me that I needed to start pouring out into other people. And so I had heard that the, uh, the student ministry needed some help. I had never worked with high schoolers and middle schoolers before. I'd always worked with elementary kids, but I thought, you know what? That was a really rough point in my life, and it would be a really cool opportunity to pour into somebody else. I just kept asking the Lord, like, what gifts have you put in me? Like, where do I fit? He kept reminding me, like, as you were growing up, you would look around, like, where's a role model? As I started seeking and growing with him, I really, truly felt like the Lord was bringing me to a place where I wanted to invest in kids. You guys have days? On the stage in the yes, sanctuary, yeah. We sure did. Yep. <laughs> well, I, I got to take you back just a little bit because growing up, my father um, would be intentional to take me out on a date and he would bring me a rose, and it was usually like a peach colored rose during those moments. And so growing up, peach colored roses symbolized that. When I came to the church that night that he ended up proposing to me, I had no idea that's what was going to happen that night. And I walk into the sanctuary and the aisles lined with peach roses and um, he's standing up on the uh, stage and when I get up there to him he proposes and says you know I want to be that man that takes care of you and protects you the one that your dad's been praying for so it was amazing <laughs> and it was just a really special moment that I'll never forget what inspired you guys to be like let's adopt Pastor Yedahun from Ethiopia and through Bright Hope Ministries is the pastor that um, we had heard speak from time to time. And I remember the very first moment hearing him, him talking about the orphanages in Ethiopia. And just in those moments, just hearing him, it's like something just was dropped in me that I was like, I can't get this off of my mind. One of the few times that I've felt like I've audibly heard the Lord, the Lord spoke to me in Africa was was the word he shared with me. And uh, just as time unfolded, we both um, had been praying kind of what God wanted our family to look like. The Lord just used mo those moments to lead us right to Ethiopia. And, and now we have Lucas. Drew, oh, Drew, he, he came and just just full of awe and wonder. Garrett's our, Garrett's our wild one. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, Garrett's just got so much joy for he a three-year-old. He is really has always got, um, always got joy in his eyes mm -hmm. and in his heart. The first thing that comes to mind that I think of when I think of what it's looked like in hindsight of saying yes to the Lord, when you realize he's in inviting you, you know, it's, it feels like this little nudge, a tug or a pull, and you say yes. It like stirs that place in you that you, you feel like, yeah, I was created for an adventure. And then the next thing you know, that's the Lord just beautifully mapping out every step of the way. Yeah, we've just learned through um, us maturing in our relationship with the Lord that those are things that we don't want to miss out on. And as we have taken those steps of faith, God has honored us and has given us grace for all the the hard times through it, but has also just uh, blown our minds for what he has planned for us. He wants our, our life to be an exciting journey.